Hi, welcome back to Adobe Mania. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this cool effect using gradient mesh and compound path in Adobe Illustrator. So I've made a rough illustration over here. You can make your own illustration or just trace an image that is available. Uh, if you are an absolute beginner to Adobe Illustrator, go check out my pen tool video where I've explained all the basics right from how to open a document and the basic keywords used in Adobe Illustrator that absolute beginners need to know. And I've also explained how to use pen tool. And finally, at the end of the video, I've shown how to trace an image with pen tool using all the tips and tricks that we have learned in the video. And in my second video, I've shown how to trace half of a woman's face and flip it over using reflect tool and join them together to make a whole complete face. And also how to color the face to make a 2D illustration. And in my third video, I've explained all the basic shape tools in Adobe Illustrator. And I've also shown how to draw this cute cat using only shape tools. I'll link all the videos down below in the description box or just go to my YouTube page and click on the Adobe Illustrator playlist. So I've already made my illustration over here. Uh, black and white clip art works well with this effect. So before jumping into gradient mesh, let me show you an easy method to get curly hair. Okay. So I'm going to press command D and move this aside. Now to get curly hair, I'm just going to grab my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw an ellipse over here. And I'm going to get my direct selection tool and I'm going to distort uh, this ellipse a little bit to make it look like head. Something like this. Okay. Now again, I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and I'm going to change its color to say red. And I'm going to draw one more ellipse over here. And then I'm going to move this ellipse over here. Let me increase the size a little bit. So now this makes the face of the woman and now I'm going to select both the ellipse and I'm going to go to windows pathfinder and I'm going to hit minus front over here. Yeah. So now we got the hair. Now just select the hair and then go to effect distort and transform and roughen. Okay. So you'll get this uh, roughen dialog box and here you can adjust the size and the details to get the curly hair. And if you want sharp edges, you can have corner over here. I'm going to move it to smooth and I'm going to reduce. No, I'm going to increase the details and then I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. Now, again, you can alter this hair using your direct selection tool. Something like this. Right. So this is one of the easy method to get curly hair. Now, let me delete this thing and I'm going to move my illustration so now we have my illustration over here now in this image i have uh, like more than one path the hair is a path and whereas this is a separate one this is a separate one lips is a separate one so this illustration has more than one path so we're gonna make it a compound path now so i'm gonna press command a to select the whole thing and control click and just uh, click make compound path over here or you can just select the whole thing and go to object and compound path and make okay this is the two ways of making compound path either right click compound path or go to object compound path and make okay so once i made compound path my whole image turned into black so let me explain it with an example uh, i'm just gonna grab an ellipse tool and then i'm just drawing an ellipse over here and i'm gonna draw one more ellipse over here and let me color this thing as gray okay let me have this gray. Perfect. The black ellipse is the one which I've drawn first and I've drawn the gray ellipse as second. The, the black ellipse is a path and the gray ellipse is another path. Okay. So two paths are overlapping over here. Now I'm going to select these two and I'm going to right click and I'm going to make it a compound path. And here you can see the compound path has made a hole when both uh, paths overlap. Right. And the whole thing has turned into black because black ellipse is the one which I've drawn first. Okay, now for example, uh, let me give you command desert, command desert, command desert. Um, yeah, and now let me color it to gray first, and then I'm gonna uh, get a copy of the same ellipse and I'm gonna color it with black. So, here in this case, gray is the one which we have drawn first, and then the black. Okay, so now I'm gonna select this thing and I'm gonna right click and make compound path. Here you can see the whole thing is converted to gray because gray is the one which we have drawn first. 
okay so a compound path is nothing but if an object has more than one path and if you make it a compound path it will make holes where paths overlap and it will paint the whole thing with the backmost object in the stacking order or the object which you drew at the starting clear so this is why my whole thing has turned to black because the first path i've drawn is the hair and i colored it black okay now let's jump into the gradient mesh i'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and i'm gonna draw a rectangle over here that covers the whole face now there are two methods to get gradient mesh method number one is just select your rectangle and then go to object and click uh, create gradient mesh over here and the uh, create gradient mesh dialog box will open up and then you can just give the number of rows and columns as per your wish and then click ok and the gradient mesh will get created okay uh, let me give command z over here now the second method is just select your rectangle and here you can just see mesh tool okay just select uh, the mesh tool over here or the shortcut is letter u when i hover over the rectangle you can see uh, the mesh tool has a plus icon so just click wherever you want to create your mesh lines something like this and here you can just click wherever you want to uh, create your mesh lines something like this and if you want to remove a mesh line just hold option in your keyboard and then click on the line so this will remove the mesh lines okay so this way you can create your own mesh lines so once you got all your mesh lines now we're going to color it okay so to color that just go to windows and swatches panel and I already have a lot of colors uh, saved over here. If you want unique and uh, vibrant colors, just go and check out here in the Swatch Libraries menu. Just click on the Swatch Libraries menu over here. And then uh, for vibrant colors, you can just go to either Foods or uh, Kid Stuff. Kid Stuff has a lot of vibrant colors. Just, just check out all the options available over here. You will get a lot of unique colors from here. Now, to apply colors into the gradient mesh, uh, select your direct selection tool and then click on the anchor points over here and then select your colors see just click on the anchor points and then select your colors something like this select blue green Uh, select you can also select more than one anchor points by holding shift just hold shift in your keyboard and then I'm going to select this anchor point is over here I'm just selecting random anchor points and I'm gonna uh, give it say green color and I'm gonna apply unique colors to each of my anchor points and you can also drag and drop your colors into the mesh points over here so just click drag and drop the colors into the mesh points okay so you can also alter these mesh lines um, using direct selection tool just select your direct selection tool and then click on the mesh points over here and then click and drag see and you can get unique protruding effects just click on the points and then just click and drag um, to get see here something like this and you can create even more cool effects something like this so i'm just gonna uh, let it simple and see yeah so there's no trace of black at all here i completely colored it with unique colors so now i'm gonna control click arrange send to back now we're gonna apply a clipping mask to it so just press command a to select the whole thing and then uh, control click make clipping mask over here or you can also go to object clipping mask and make done so we've got our colorful rainbow effect so if you find my videos useful do subscribe to my youtube channel and also press the bell icon next to it to get notified whenever i post a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok for short tutorials i'll leave my instagram and tiktok link down below in the description box bye